Hello everyone and welcome to Wizzo Talk. Why Wizzo Talk? Because I want to know, don't you? Here at Wizzo Talk, we play it like you said, uncut and unedited. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the hot topics yet to come. Like to be a guest on the show? Hit me up in the comments. Have a hot topic you like to hear discussed? Hit me up in the comments. And always remember, it's always free to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to meet our guests and then we're going to get this thing rolling. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ron again. We're back for round two in the booth. Feeling good, relaxed, loose. I told the guys we're not leaving here without talking about UFOs. Let's get it. UFOs tonight, so we'll see. Yo, much bliss. I'm um, Josh, aka Seven Points of Bliss. You can check me out at After Real Truth. Uh, you can Google it on one word, and um, man, we just here to have some good, good time tonight, man. All right, all right. Sounds good. Sounds good. So. I got like, I got uh, three little topics that I want to touch on, get a little feedback from you guys, and then we'll just kind of roll off of that. We just got a little random talking going on. But first, I just before we get off into it, I kind of want to do my own intro of you guys that I had worked on and kind of got it going. Oh, okay. All right? So <laughs> sitting to my right, the undisputed, undefeated, middleweight, Champion of the world, the Palmer Granite. Give it up for him, everybody. Yeah. I don't have the sound effects, so we got to make that shit ourselves. And sitting over here to the uh, left, which would probably be you guys right, the lightweight champion of the world, Mr. Slice and Dice. Give it up for Slice and Dice. Slice and dice. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, guys. That was just something I'll just play around with, guys. Everybody, thank everybody for watching. I got, uh, so my fiance told me I dropped the F bomb too much, so I can't say fuck too much. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I said already, even though it's uncut and unedited. But I just want to talk about in my notes, I got something called too freaking old. No. So. I normally say too fucking old, but mm -hmm. she don't like me saying that too much, so Freaky, I got it. Yeah, yeah. And then I want to touch on one something called the South is fucked up, but she don't want me saying fucked up, so I'm going to say funky, it's yeah. funked up. And then the last one, if we get to it, where did the money go? So I just got a couple of some names that I want to just read off to you guys, because mm -hmm. like this is going on my topic, too freaking old. And if you think about it, where I'm going with this, because you guys have no idea where I'm going with it, so we're just going to feed and work this thing. It's uh, the, one, the guys that's running our country. So I know a lot of you probably <clears throat> saw Mitch McConnell freeze up the other day mm -hmm. for like 13 seconds or something. He just froze and then they made excuses for him later on and said something. But I'm just going to read some names, some names and ages off. And then these guys, just keep in mind, these guys are running our country and they were back there before. Now, I grew up, I'm in my mid 50s. And that's back when the TV used to sign off. Ryan, you don't remember any of that, but TV I'm used to sign off. off. Yeah. We got three channels or whatever, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it was like that. But and so I'm in my mid fifties. So I wanna just read a couple of names right here. And it's Republicans and Democrats and all. I may mess the names up, we roll with me. But you got Nancy Pelosi, eighty three, Joe Biden, eighty, Trump, seventy seven, Chuck Schumer, seventy two, Robert F. Kennedy, sixty nine. Lindsey Graham, 68, Feinstein or Frankenstein or whatever her name is, 90 years old. Damn. 90 years old. 90? You got 90. You got Bernie Sanders, 81. Charles Grassley, however you say his name, 89. He from Iowa. Mitch McConnell, 81. And just a couple more. Y'all just work with me right here and I'm going to make my point. You have 54 senators in the 118 Congress and it's... Uh, 54, 100, 100, let me see, I had my own notes. Uh, 54 senators and 65 of them is, shit, I'm messing up my sip right here. I got my notes, I can't read it. It's 54 senators and the 118th Congress is over 65. So 54 of them is over age 65. And then you have 439 in the House and 151 of them are over age 65. So we can't get anything going because these guys are already millionaires they already have lifetime medical lifetime this lifetime that so look who's running the country these guys was back here probably before almost before the tv was invented I, and they keep getting voted in and voted in and voted in so 
Y'all got any feedback on these guys? I mean, they all in the 80s, late 80s years old. And I'm going to just touch on Joe Biden. If you ever watch Joe Biden walk, he look like he about to fall over. I mean, he taking them little baby steps. You know, but give me some feedback on all these guys that's in their 80s. They should already retire. And our last thing I'll say on that is I'm thinking that there should be term limits. But I'm thinking sure. what's happening, they're going to the poll. Oh, that's so-and-so, and we vote for Bottom, them. Yeah. They're not in, in touch with reality with what's going on. But I'm going to shut up for a second let y'all give me some feedback on what y'all think about that. You want to take it or I want it don't matter. Just I'm, jump I'm, in. I'm going to tell you, man, I think it's crazy because I seen a video of Joe Biden a few years ago riding a bike and he fell off that shit. Oh. Yeah. It yeah. was like you know, some type of like bike race or something. You know what I'm saying? Like one of those little things that people ride their bikes. I don't know what they call them. Almost yeah. like when they be running together. Some bike race right. deal. And, and, and my question is, what is the retirement age? Man, I remember when I was sure that people were retiring at like 60. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got these people like, that's almost 100. You're talking about they got lifetime health insurance. But shit, they ain't got that much more life to live, dude. They keep getting voted in. What you got on What's crazy? That's what I was going to say. What's crazy is that, like, you look at, like, a leader on, like, a sports team, right, or whatever. It's like he's usually the most athletic dude or, like, well-spoken or whatever the case is, right? But you look at it in the sense now, like, dude, these guys are, like, falling apart, dude. Yeah. yeah. You're 80 or 90, dude. You're obviously not going to be as sharp. Now, granted, there's some special cases for sure, but right. – Dude, for the most part, that's what blows my mind. Is why don't you have like like a young forty year old, you know, in there that's like you know, athletic, you know, you know why? can take it. Why they bring new ideas? The same reason. That's the Change same. The system. That's the same reason why they don't put young people in the government like that in the Senate because they're gonna bring fresh Certain new pot. ideas for the people. Yeah. Like he said, these people are millionaires. They comfortable with their money. So what? Yeah. What you? What you think they gonna do, man? You think they yeah. gonna mess their yeah. money up? But they gonna keep making that money? They already millionaires. All of them. All of those guys. So I'm thinking it's just a power trip because you know you catch the guy whoever's running for office. Let's say it's a Republican running for president. Right. So he get up there. He promise you all this stuff and all this stuff. But if the house is, the, if the Senate is controlled by Democrats, he mm -hmm. just sell you a wolf ticket because nothing's gonna pass. But my thing is. Is that they're so we're so outdated. We have guys up there running our country. The president can only do so much, and he can only do so much by executive mm -hmm. order and so forth. It's got to go through the house and then through the senate. But they're old. Is yeah, my yeah. my point that yeah. I'm making? They in their eighties. Have y'all ever had the honor of talking to somebody that's? Uh, 98 or over 100. Have y'all ever talked to anybody? I haven't yet. No. I've talked to two people. The one lady, she was 99, and um. It was in Chicago. We would just sit there and talk. And she was just so alert to me for her age. I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no. she was just telling me how much the world has changed just yeah. in that neighborhood within the last 50 years. Right. So it's like, bro, when you look at that, like that's just half her lifetime. She yeah. didn't even say what, the, what it was like the first 50. Right. So yeah, when you know. look at like politicians and stuff like that, it has to it has to operate that in that manner. Like man, they got to get out of there, and get some new fresh people. Yeah. Because what do they know about what's going on out there? They don't. Really, the cell phone just came along in my age and era. They just now learning how to work the phone. They they in a 65, 70, 80, 90. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that they're that that's like old, but to run the country. But I remember when I was a kid, we used to stand in an in AT and T phone store line. To get a house phone, bro. Yeah. Like that's where we went to go buy the house phone, the cord, all that. Corded yeah. it in the wall. And now they have cell phones, but yeah. you know, so I yeah. don't understand where yeah. you're coming from with that. Yeah. yeah. I, I I don't I don't want to stay on too long. I just wanted to make a little point on that because Mr. McConnell froze up on the camera. They made they was from. I mean, they're too old, and until Congress, they don't want any. Um, any term limits or anything and people goes to the poll and you keep voting these guys in if you get up there and you look at them when they making a speech they look like they dead already if they're not they serving the like people that. they need to be out there anyway bro yeah. and that's a, that's a, and that's something that we really uh don't deal with properly like i feel like we've been voting for so long in a system that has not been working for us and I, when i say for us i don't mean by any race i mean humans right. in general these people get right. in there they get in there they do their own thing like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they, they the ones who be starting wars, bro. Yeah, yeah. Poor people don't want wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we covered that. I remember you talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and that goes along with them making their money. Like, Joe Biden, if you listen to what he be saying, bro, he be telling y'all, 
Everything he doing, he doing for his son. His son tells yeah. him what to do, and he do it. Yeah, that's you know wild, what I'm saying? man. That's crazy. And his son be smoking crack, bro. Yeah. <laughs> then he made it like legal to smoke crack in one state, man. Yeah. It was he was wild, out, bro, I remember seeing the commercial. It was telling. It was saying they was literally handing out crack pipes for people taking COVID vaccines. What? Oh man. They was giving in different states. They was giving different different things. Some places they was giving money. Some places they was giving. Weed. They were running crack pipes. Yes, bro. For Google it. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> man, but I just tell you, man, until we get rid of some of these old heads up in there. So all you people out there that's listening, maybe share this deal or whatever, but until we get rid of them, you know, the country we we've been robe ran by a bunch of old men. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say a quick section on that though. Dude, like I'm not opposed to like having old heads in there per se right you bring experience right like they saw different administrations and stuff from that that maybe wasn't successful or what made it successful right they bring that into there right right but at the same time as you're saying it keeps a lot of old ideas locked in right. too anything that doesn't have any youth going to die 100 you know? so you got those old guys in there they saying they for the people yeah they for the people but in their day and time Ooh, people, yeah. they don't know anything about what's going on with today's today's time yeah and then i'm gonna make another point on that now you wind up taking marijuana for example okay you know oh, been i don't smoke marijuana whatever so but now that they've seen that they can make money on it, yeah. so all these Texas. other states up north is killing the game. Yeah. But look at old Texas. The South is fucked up. But it's the same way with liquor, though. Yeah, they were. was illegal until they figured out how to make money off of it. Yeah. But <laughs> and here you go. So all you people out there and everyone that like to smoke marijuana and here down here in South and Texas, they not gonna pass it because it's ran by and we read and it's ran by a bunch of old. Elfers, whatever. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be saying fuck too much. Come out late, don't like me to say fuck. So damn, I said it again. But anyway, but you know what? So what's happening is all these people out here they need to go on and go and vote to change that because I think over in Colleen they trying to change that and trying to put it on the dock and trying to do this and that. But it's still a state law, or whatever, and they still locking people up for a little bit for a joint or for a roach Stupid. they call it, Stupid. and then up up north up wherever they they killing the game on it. Yeah. So my thing is on that is just the South is just behind. It just goes back to hell when it was in slavery. We was the last one to know it. I feel so, like if, if they're not gonna crush, if they're not gonna completely crush this system and start over again, yeah. what they need to do is they need to get all these old people out of there, right? Put right. younger people in there and have the older people as their advisors. Right. Have like like you know what I'm saying like a mentor. Mentor away. Yeah. You, you, you have them, and then I agree with that to a certain extent. But then still, the thing they gonna be mentoring is on the old ass ideas. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Back but that's why, that's why they, that's why they, that's why they don't have no power. They just advisors. Just advisors, yeah. That's yeah. what the young people right. gonna do. At the same sense as a lot of these new ideas coming in good, like is fully legal or legalizing marijuana like a good idea? Is fully legalizing like psychedelics, mm -hmm. right? In some states, mm -hmm. like all psychedelics, are, you know, are gonna be trying to legalize. Is is that a good idea for the mass public? Right. Yep. I don't know, right? What's the ramifications of that? Like, I a great I, I don't know. A great way. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. What happens is you see a lot of people that's buying it undercover. Now that it's legal, they all coming out and they gone smoking and they're getting high. But, I, but like, the, it's da it's dangerous with them selling it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you getting it, if you getting it raw, then you just getting it raw. Laced. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get it from the government, it's gonna be laced, dog. They gonna do something. They're gonna spray right on that or something, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but my thing is, when you're getting it from a reliable source like that, then at least it's like you see how much you're supposed to be taking, as opposed to you taking too much. Are you talking about a street dealer? Or yeah, yeah. Like, street dealers all have that, 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 yeah. that back stat on a product. Like, I'm supposed to, this is the service side. We're talking yeah. storefront. Yeah. Yeah. Store, okay, not, yeah. not a street dealer. Yeah. Okay, the street dealers don't have a service side, bro. Because street yeah. dealers be putting stuff and they kidding me. Out there, really? Yeah. Yeah. They put fentanyl on it, dude. They're fentanyl on the lace that stuff, dude. Yeah, it's right. crazy. crazy. You gotta it's be crazy, careful out here. You know, I'm just saying that you know, sketchy I, people. I don't know, I have nothing about marijuana, no bunch about it from back in the day coming up. I know, I know it's a lot more expensive now. I know that people still getting locked up behind little bits of nothing and getting longer sentences That's stupid, in prison though. That's times, stupid, though. which is crazy. And you take yeah. some of the sports figures, they go out. 
and say they in, in Denver, Colorado, right? And they yeah. from from Texas. They go to Denver, they find up smoking. Well, it's legal yeah. there, yeah. but guess what? They from Texas or whatever, so now their ass is in yeah. trouble. Yeah. So I mean, so to speak, some of y'all out there probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking what? about. I don't what? know. What I really found to be crazy is, like, if you smoke weed, right? They look for that more because it saves your system longer. Yeah. But if you do cocaine, you're okay. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they, they don't really look for that, but so, they so get the, out your body fast. So the next question that goes into is that are they systemically locking up poor people? Is he saying like they'll smoke like weeds at relatively cheap drop versus coke is like, you know, a couple hundred thousand, right? right. You know, is is that going on too? Because I've heard that argument too. Right. Well, you, you got something to say like with code and math I and stuff like that. believe that it is yeah. though yeah. yeah yeah, I'm just about to say the same thing you don't hit too many people down in coke but you hit people down in weed and crack right <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's usually what's in the black community because yeah. you don't hit black people talking about some, I just did some coke man yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean that's my advice but, yeah. Yeah. but Chicago have, had hood crackheads right. yeah. they all had talents they still have they still have the gold locks up so before we gonna get off into the to the other thing, I'm gonna cover one of my other topics. And uh, I know you guys probably heard of a Candace Owens that she did a report oh, yeah. on the Black Lives Matter mm. and the money that was how they was misusing the money and how the money went here, whatever, whatever. And then uh, so then uh, I think his name was Steve Bannon from the Trump border wall. They raised millions of dollars for the mm. border wall and people sending in money for the border wall also. So you got to wonder, where did that money go? So she talked about the Black Lives Matter one. And then according to uh, my notes, which I don't have it uh, in my order, but uh, J.J. Wyatt Foundation for thing with Hurricane Katrina raised like 35 or 40 some million dollars. That's a lot, yeah. So my fiance and I, we went to New Orleans uh, probably a few years ago and they saw we saw a bunch of blue tops on the roofs. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, those are from Katrina. They haven't been paid out yet. So make my point. Candace Owens is so busy talking about Black Lives Matter and where did that money go. You got the Trump border wall with Steve Bannon and went to jail or some allegedly went to jail for that right there. You got the money that J.J. Watt had raised and sent there along with the other people for Katrina. And then you go there and some of them people still didn't get the houses. So my point is, if you're going to report where the money went, report it all. She's on the Candace Owens on the reported because she's a Republican, so she want to make Black Lives Matter look bad and the Democrats or whatever, something like that. But my thing is, where did the money go? So you got to watch it, in my opinion, when you give to a lot of different organizations, because if they have a president there, he may be getting his cut off the top. I don't know. I'm just saying. Passing because, like activities. Yeah, because you got, you go to New Orleans and where where are the houses built for all these people? I saw people houses still abandoned and going on. But you got all that money raised. Where did the dough go? Exactly. Where did the dough where go? Did the dough go? But where did the tax money go? It went the same place. They're, they're fixing the streets. Yeah. Bro, listen, man, your tax money. They're fixing up to, the streets. Your tax money went to building jets to kill people, dog. It said that. <laughs> It said right here about notes. I got the Black Lives Matter raised ninety million dollars in twenty twenty. Million. Thirty three percent of Black Lives Matter, ninety million in donation help charitable foundations. So they say. But I don't know. This is just something that you guys can also Google on that also. But like I said, where did tax money go? We talking about the streets. Back when they started the lottery, they said some of it's supposed to help the schools and so forth. So on. Every president they run, they talk about doing something for the school system. School system still jacked up. The the thing I see is like it's just it like rolls in phases, right? Like the during like when BLM was very popular, there was a huge initiative to like support small black like storefronts. Mm -hmm. There was a huge. I remember seeing a lot of ads for it mm -hmm. and stuff, and then it just died. Right. And then that was it. And then there was like this huge initiative, and then it's dead. Right. Same thing like be like a school shooting deal. Yeah. Oh, we need to crack down on all guns. This that whatever. Yeah. We need to lock security up. And then it just it drifts off until another deal happens. Yeah, it drifts off. Uh, before we say something, it's time for a commercial Boom. break. Commercial break. Commercial break. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank y'all for tuning in and tuning in to Wizzo Talk. Always remember, it's free to like, share, and subscribe. We got some random talk going on or just some random shit. Trying to find out where did the money go. Talking about these old men running the country and talking about the South being just kind of effed up. Now, I know somebody out there right there saying, well, if you don't like it, move. Well, I'm not going to say what I want to say to you, but don't worry about that. 
You got anything y'all got to hit me up in the comments. I just kind of spoke in tongue right then. I don't know. But that's it for the commercial break. Thank you for tuning in. What you got on there, John? I just, man, the money, the money is going to miscellaneous places, man, to, to hurt our own people, man. Everything that's going wrong in this country has been funded by our tax money. So if you want to know where our money is going, our money is going to put in fluoride in the water. It's going to spray in poison on our food. Mm. Glyphosate, man. Huh? Glyphosate on the crops, dude. That's a big one, dude. Yeah. GMOs and stuff. Yeah. That Your money is crazy. going to cloning, testing on animals. Your, your, Poisoning your, the people. Your tax money is going into the chambers of police guns to destroy the youth of any race. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, when you want to know where your tax money is going, look at all the things that's going wrong in our society. That's where your tax money is going. That's where the tax money is going. It's probably where some of the donation money is going because some of it's, I think some of the donation money is reaching it, but I think some of the people at the top get there right even back, the even, uh, even back when I was a shorty, my mom used to let me watch those little commercials like, where you can donate just 25 cents a day to feed this child. And I will feed them? Yeah. My mom was like, that's going in people's pockets, man. Yeah. It's a part of the pocket, yeah. Because you over here taking videos with these people are suffering, and you putting that money in your pocket. Dude, you can't even crack off a banana at HUB for a quarter. Yeah, Who, I don't it's, know who's getting fed on a quarter. Yeah, it, I, well, I will say this at that cost. Costco meal. Now, when, you go, when I worked at Iraq or whatever, and uh, I was going to buy a motorcycle, the motorcycle was $19,000. I worked with this guy from India, and he said, Wizzo, you would live like a king for $19,000. Meaning that the dollar there goes, goes a lot way. further yeah. up, up against the euro, the American dollar, as far as I know, still ain't worth the crap. Yeah. But when you wind up both, so in other words, it depends on what country you're in, that 25 cents may be like $10 couple, uh, yeah. or a couple of dollars yeah. or something. So meaning that it may go further. But my thing is, what about all the people here that's hungry and, and you know, uh, uh, Needing shelter, need things, and here we are. You've seen this commercial for all over the world. What about here at home? I think that's like, dude, that's a like just hitting on home. Dude, that's a huge deal to tackle, though. I mean, that's yeah. then you got people out there just making bad choices all together that keeps them on the streets, right? It's like, well, did you even if you provided help, they'll they'll be out there, right? Like, I, I do firmly agree in that. Like, but there absolutely is a population that can benefit from like like actual help, right? Like programs to do that, right. you know? So, yeah. um, but that that's, that one's complicated. I don't know yeah. if Josh got some on that, but. Yeah. I feel like the people who live on the streets are truly free. You know what I'm saying? That's not wrong either. That's, yeah. that's, that, it's just yeah. a freedom that comes, everything comes with a cost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They know what the cost is, but they're truly free because, man, we live in a day and age where normality is, man, you gotta pay $3 for an apple. A homeless man can't feed himself and his dog, but he got a cell phone. How? Yeah. How? Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, I will say one thing on that, and that's um, <laughs> you see these little blue tents up, yeah. and they have free, they call them Obama phones, I guess. Oh, they have free phones, phones or whatever. Burners, yeah. So I will say that. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen them out there, the homeless out there walking, but you know, America's always helping the world when we have the ones right here that need a lot of help also. Crazy. So, you know, just uh the, uh, and then right here, because you brought up UFOs. Now, for years, they have been saying they don't exist. It's fake. Now, all of a sudden, the government want to go on and say, gone. boom. Well, there might be some. So, you can't even fucking... Oh, I dropped a bomb. You can't even freaking... <laughs> you can't even freaking say, I mean, uh, trust the government. Which I don't no think way. we should have ever been able to trust the government because they lie to that. us every time they open their mouth, they lie to us. But they said forever and forever. They don't exist, they don't exist. Have y'all been keeping up with it? Now they're saying yeah, they, say they exist. do exist. Uh, not only do they say they exist, they say they're in communication with the people flying them, Jones. <laughs> oh, see, I missed that part. <laughs> I didn't miss that part too. Really? Yeah, I've been Y'all don't watch them y'all don't watch them when they talk talk on like, They've interviewed they be them? having live they be having live streams <laughs> of the court case on YouTube. I Man, watch what? Them. I just watch them. And, and they be saying they be saying some wild shit because first of all I feel like everybody who was fucking shunned and talked shit about back in the days to tell them motherfuckers oh, that the UFOs close. was real yeah. they deserve apologies the yeah. people who have died in shame mm -hmm. that was telling people that this shit was real and people was talking down to them deserve an apology yeah. for yeah. real 
Because yeah. them people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? People probably ain't found no rest in their afterlife yeah. because they knew the truth. <laughs> Yeah. And that's the thing that people don't understand. When you start to find out the truth, life don't get easier, dog. Yeah. It's Shit harder. gets weirder. It's harder. harder. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. now you got to face facts that you didn't have to face before. Yeah. Now you have to start looking at that glass more half full. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, I know I talked to my girl and she said she said we we're the aliens. She said they don't she don't believe in the UFO thing. She said we're the aliens. They admitted so, it though. I'm like, well. I thought I said it. They're, they're out there. Yeah. The, the thing is, for me, is, like, I've always wondered, was, like, what what happens? Like, is it the government? Because I've, I've heard multiple theories on it, too. It's, like, the, can the, are the people just not ready for it, though? Like, you tell people, just on a religious standpoint, too, or just in, like, a like a world standpoint, like, we're not the only ones. And, there in fact, there's, like, over 100 different species minimum that we know about now that are mm-hmm. tens of thousands of years ahead of us. Right. With crazy technology. Like, what is that? due to the world right people won't work dude people ain't gonna work no more why are you gonna show up at your job dude you're gonna join the space force or star trek or something dude all right how did they do the sign or whatever it's yeah, so taking yeah. on to the stars you know yeah. I mean, um, you know you can't wind up there's no trust in the government they gonna lie to us 100 percent. you know so I think it was silly for people to believe that we were the only things in the universe in the first place I, yeah I wouldn't have believed I probably thought That's of that weird. maybe coming up but Infinite. now it's it's this universe is too big. I mean, maybe you know? maybe I just think too much. Uh-huh. But even as a child, when you when when I when I heard the scientists saying where anywhere there's water, there's a possibility of life, yeah. and then they start talking about all these other planets and they found water, on, I already realized. But it's like yeah. B, it's like BS land. It's like oh, we found a little virus microbe. Like it's no, something dude, though. We're talking about walking, speaking. No, no, Thinking. no, no, you can't think, no, see, you can't think like that, let me tell you why, let me tell you why. Why is that? Because even though that we're so-called civilized and we're walking beings and talking beings, right, we can still be destroyed by those microorganisms. 100%. Those things we're composed of. 100%. The government realized that, that's why they can make these diseases just killing people. Yeah. People completely healthy just falling over dying from stuff that they created because they understand that, that macrocosm. On a microcosm, my apologies. Mm-hmm. That microcosm is the key to everything. It's like a universe within the universe. If you control the smaller dimensions, you can control the larger dimensions. Mm-hmm. You ever watch Ant Man? They was talking about that. They yeah, put a lot yeah, of stuff yeah, in, right, yeah. in these movies, man. And the yeah. reason why I keep up with that stuff is because they say Walt Disney was a thirty third degree Mason. So what? a lot of the stuff that's in these Disney movies, and you know Marvel was owned by Disney now. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff that's put in these movies is very deep knowledge, esoteric type stuff. Yeah. And even in Ant Man, he showed the smaller you got, the more universes are Complex. within. Complex. Yeah. Yeah. Worlds mm-hmm. within worlds, man. This blows my mind, dude. Yeah, it's just. I think they're popping in the Ant Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's popping in the Ant Man. I mean, no, man. When you start to understand that science of the stuff that's smaller, you start to understand that things are greater. You know what right. I'm saying? So right. if you look in like uh, ancient knowledge, has this old saying, as above, so below. And it's key to it because when you start to look at things smaller, you start to understand the larger picture. You know what I'm saying? You look at an atom, it has electrons and neutrons and the nucleus. Quarks and stuff inside What's the of difference that? between that and our solar system? Hmm. No different. Nothing at all. We're small, but we're big. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, 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 y'all, y'all on a whole other level of stuff. But that's, but that's, what, make, but that's what make the there. UFO stuff even deeper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you start to look at these things, these are just other organisms bringing right. newer energy, newer information from other places. If you think about this entire universe as an organism that we're living in, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We've been communicating with these beings for millennia. Who knows how long? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess he bringing you that UFO talk you wanted, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know nothing about all that, but you know. look at all, the all, the ancient, all these ancient paintings, bro, UFOs yeah. in them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and and then a lot of these ancient documents, they speak of angels being able to turn into vehicles and things of that nature, though. Did y'all see that movie Nope? Yes. Uh, I did. Bro, that is exactly how they depict the angels. That's how they be depicting them, bro. They could turn into ships and stuff like that and then back into what they supposed to look like. Yeah. Even when they come to Transformers, Transformers was based off them angels, dog. They could transform to things. 
Come on with it. I don't, well, he, I'm he, trying to. He, 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 <laughs> you asked for this. Uh, I got a movie. I got an <laughs> ant. I'm on it. Yeah, man. Come on, man. And then Transformers. Transformers. And, and, and to answer the question that you had said before about uh, are we ready? No, we're not ready, but we've been trained not to be ready. But are you ready? I've been ready, bro. Yeah. I already know we everything at the same time, so it, it's nothing you shouldn't be prepared for. It's, it's not within you already. You know what I mean? Right. I heard that. That's that's, that's crazy. That's some kind of some deep one. Because right pe- people are people have been programmed not to be ready, bro. These movies they have made contracts with these beings, right? And these contracts are really about them having to tell us the truth. So everything you've seen, nothing that we are seeing now is nothing that has not been presented to us in the past. Right. All the alien shit. You know what I'm saying? That, bro, they was giving us movies about it. And they always show us fear-based shit. Same thing with Jesus. When Jesus came, fear-based. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's fear-based. They killed him. So when aliens come and they kill him. It's all fear based to teach us to be scared and not to be understanding. And then when we get certain movies to teach us to be understanding, right, we kind of push it to the side. Yeah. Because we as yeah. human beings, what we like to do is we like to stay and linger on the negative as opposed to the positive times. Mm-hmm. So you'll see the destruction, but you don't hear people really talking about E.T. that much. Where it was a movie where a little boy took an alien in, cared for him, and made sure he got back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. All, all yeah. the time, the government was trying to kill him. Yeah. And they've had other alien movies like that too, though. They hunt them down oh, yeah, and they kill them. Quite a few of those. Independence yeah. Day. Yeah. One from Super Eight. But see, though, but see that the Independence Day is the type of movie where they want you to be scared because it was showing the aliens coming in the coming energy down and killing everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you gotta understand this, bro. If an alien civilization is that technologically advanced, they do why now. the fuck would they come here to destroy some motherfucking cavemen? We pretty much cavemen. They just gonna come here to just yeah, destroy them. Way behind. Like we yeah. travel light years in space just to come in and shoot this ray gun and blow your shit up. That doesn't Pointless. even make any sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what what do you what do you think their their purpose is then like motive? Like what what's the ultimate goal? Do you Control. think they don't never want you to know the truth. Mm-hmm. I'm saying from like the aliens' perspective. The alien perspective, like a lot of these aliens, bro. Don't, don't get me wrong. That there are aliens that will destroy, right? And there are aliens that want to conquer and destroy. Mm-hmm. But you also have a large part of those aliens, right? That actually want to help humans evolve and go to the next level. Because it's so, so. From from what has been said, we. Our newer humans, right? We have like these different type of souls, right? So we're yeah. we're actually going through an evolutionary stage right now that no other human species has ever gone through in the universe. So it's aliens that come here to help us spiritually evolve, and that's where a lot of this spiritual ascension stuff has been coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like they say that Jesus Christ was really about the Christ consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Jesus came back at 33, 33 vertebrae. You know what I'm saying? So it's about certain energies flowing back up to your brain and you reaching Christ consciousness. Mm-hmm. Just like uh, Buddha is not a person, but Buddha is a state of spiritual being. It's a title. All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all notice I'm just quiet because I, I can't relate to none of that y'all uh, talking about. That's why I study all this though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of this stuff is really crazy though because they tell you about these reptiles. Like, so you got different alien entities, right? They can pretty much shape shift and stuff like that. All of them can. That's basic light projection. How, how do you know so, if you found an alien, man? How do you have you run into one? I myself personally, I don't think I've run into one, but you'll never know. How right. would you know? You wouldn't. You ever seen that movie? They live. No. You have to put on the glasses in order to see the real truth, dog. Because right. there's somebody out there right now saying that's a bunch of shit. Yeah, and there's somebody yeah, out there that's saying that's a bunch of shit. How the fuck do they know this? Yeah, yeah. And then there's somebody out there also saying, well, you know, that's possible. It could be. There's maybe we are. Like we can only see in certain spectrums. Our eyes don't see much. Right. There's there's the same thing in a, a verse on the Bible talking about running into angels, how you wouldn't know either. Yeah. Right? Like you, yeah. so you know, treat everybody with kindness and respect. Like you never know per se who you're speaking God. to. Yeah. You would never know if you want one of y'all could be God right now, nobody would know. Right. I think I'll tell you. <laughs> you no, wouldn't. You wouldn't. You had that type of, you had that type of <laughs> universal wisdom. You wouldn't yeah. say nothing. No, you would. You, it's, like your, it's like your parents being in the back of the classroom. You know, like just let them show out. Yeah. No, I'm watching. But yeah, I tell you, 
Now we just got some random conversation going on, some random talk, random shit. My mind's milled already. And uh, oh yeah, already. What's going on, man? <laughs> Come on, man. You supposed to be coming with it Ant tonight. Yeah, you foes and lizard man. <laughs> but that's the crazy part, cause you was already talking about. So let me put it to you like this, man. You was already talking about the different species of aliens, right? Now, if you take it into consideration that most of these aliens are based off animal type of humanoid beings, right? Look at all the deities from Egypt. They were based off of animals. Right. They all are different alien types. You got the bird yeah. people, lizard people. But that's portrayed as like cherubim in like the Bible. Yeah. It's like having like a bull head, yeah. eagle head, exactly. multi like yeah. faced animal, like crazy. Yeah. So how do we know these aren't just like angels or demons? We don't. No, we don't. I well, mean, what are demons? What angels though? Fallen. And somebody out there right now, they looking and they saying, now how did they go from Congress to this to that to the to the South is fucked up? It's Con- random. Just some just some random it's shit. Random That's it. Shit. And it's just like yeah, it's gonna be in Congress. Shit. Yeah. Oh, they, they, are they watching this right now? They probably are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Bro. But I believe uh, on another thing, since we out there with this. I know how you believe in this, but I mean, okay. feel about this, but I don't know how Josh, okay. but Shaq said that the world is flat, it ain't round. Dude, the world is 100% round, but we talked, hold on, it's going to blow on me, hold on. <laughs> Josh, we talked talk with Josh a little bit about this, though, at the same time. He does bring up a good point, like, it's it's perspective in a sense, too. Like, if if you're on a piece of paper and you're a dot, and that's all you are is a dot, you're gonna see your plane in 2D. You won't see it any different. But me as a human with the eyes down, I see the piece of paper with the dot. It's 2D, but the paper's also 3D because it has dimensions to it as well. Same thing, there's something else outside of that. It's in a higher dimension. Okay. It looks down on Earth like, oh, it's a flat plane, right? But in reality, it's it's just our perception through our eyes and brain perceiving in 3D. So you he said, explained it better. So you yeah. saying that the world is flat? The, the world is round to us. I'll just leave it at that. It's round to us. <laughs> I, like that's, that. I like that, bro. Like that, that, that's, the, that's probably the best, at least when he described it to me. And that, oh, yeah. that makes sense to me, too. Is like, the, dude, like for all intents and purposes, dude, like, I'm going to go out my life. The world's round. Does it affect me? <laughs> <laughs> like, like does, it, does it affect me because it's flat? No. I'm still going to get up. I'm still going to drive the car. My, my truck's not going to fall off the edge of the world. You know what I mean? Like, we're good, dude. The ice hole's got me locked in. Right. You know, like, we're not going nowhere. <laughs> you know, so I, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, for all intents and purposes, like, it's right. it's round. Like, it's not going to kill me if it's flat. True, man. Like, yeah. All right, dude. Like he was saying, bro, if you're perceiving things from a higher dimension, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying, you're not going to see the same things that somebody from that dimensional plane will see or perceive right. it to be. All right. Let me touch on one thing right here because I, I didn't cover this on my uh, on the money. Raise. I have in my notes say I uh, said uh, how much money donated to Trump's border wall, and he came up with fifty four million dollars donated to his border wall. Oh, the big so wall, baby. Is the wall day, completed? Yeah. Did have they started on the wall, or where did the money go? So that's what I'm saying. When I was talking about early, when Candace Owens was reporting about the Black Lives Matter, but my thing is. Where did the money go? Report. If you're going to report, report on it all. His border wall, was, people donated $54 million. This is what I researched off the internet. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to look it up yourself. How much money did... Uh, now, AI might tell you something different. I don't know. But $54 million. Then you got the Black Lives Matter that had 94, $90 million in 2020. Candace Owen reported that the Black Lives Matter raised uh, $3.27 billion in private, non-profit organizations for Katrina victims. 3.27 billion with a B, bravo. So B, where did bravo. that money go? I think, you dude, know? I think there's just, dude, there's just a lot of leaky buckets going on here, man. Like, there's a lot of just like, at the end of the day, I think as you guys both know that, dude, there's somebody collecting this dough or a group of people collecting dough. Yeah, you see a little bit get done, yeah. but dude, it's not to the full magnitude yeah. of like 53 yeah. million or whatever right. amount of money. No, and and my thing is. The only thing I'm saying about that is, if you're gonna report on the money, report well, on it getting all. Used. You know, it's right? Getting used, Show me yeah. some people where it's benefiting from it, and you know, you don't hear about that story. Everything no. that she pointed on, uh, reported on, was all negative. 
yeah. far as I know and remember. They was, yeah. so they was showing you the people that benefit from it. They the ones that's talking on TV. <laughs> yeah, you probably right about it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so where did the money go? You know, and then like you was talking about the all of the money going, asking for 25 cents and showing these dogs and showing these people and showing these this and that situation. Why come some of the money can't come here and go and actually help people? Now, I think FEMA and some of the organizations does help people, the Red Cross, you always hear about them out there. But some of these other organizations that get creative, long story short, I'm saying is y'all be careful where you donate your money to. That's in my opinion. I say donate your money to your pockets, man. Yeah. And do what you gotta do and prepare for what's to come. You know what I'm saying? By money preparing, ain't gonna save you from what's to come, dude. And by preparing, yeah, I don't mean just preparing come. for yourself, but preparing for your neighbors as well. If we don't all stick together, we ain't, every, ain't nobody gonna survive, man. Yeah. yeah, and you get to talk about sticking together. That's another reason why I don't even wanna get on. <laughs> I don't even want to get on the blacks because we definitely have trouble. Some of us sticking together. No, nah, man. But, I guess you know. seen that new Alabama video, huh? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I heard saw about that. that. Yeah, I well, saw the dog that. master. That, yeah. Not that sweet spot with that folding chip, buddy. Man, yeah, that was. That was, that, <laughs> well, that was deep. Ha- somebody jumped off in the deal. It was was it was it a black dock master with a white, white bow driver. You guys described it. Somebody was telling me about it. Yeah, yeah. You have to see it. It turned up, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got turned up. They tried to jump to me. I I don't even. You didn't say it way more about the details that I know, but just from what I saw, I'm just happy that they set my people stuff together, bro. Yeah. Jump the boat, dude? Yeah, yeah. They set together. Yeah, they set together. I don't don't, don't, don't know what happened. I know know they jumped the the black guy. He was a security guard. Damn. Yeah. Just cuz? I don't know why. I don't. Now I haven't heard anybody say why. Yeah. But it was several people trying to jump the guy. Yeah. And that's and I don't care what he said. It's just unhonorable. We're getting a half story though. Yeah. Well, I feel like most of this stuff is seeded anyway. Look at the timing, fellas. All this stuff. If you pay attention when stuff is dropped, it's usually dropped as a distraction. Yeah. Black people taking this as a major win. We don't even understand how much we have to stick together just yet, but we will. Yeah. I agree, yeah. Yeah, they definitely for that. But I'll just tell you briefly from what I saw in the deal. Uh, the black guy worked there. He was trying to get them to move this boat or whatever or something. And one of the white guys come up to him and and, and pushed him. Or the other, other black guy, white guy jumped him. And then, you know, before you know it, it was probably like five white people had this one black guy on the ground. Yep. And then the black people, he just came to the rescue. And one guy was swimming across from somewhere. And it just turned into a real big old brawl. But it was started by the white people because the black guy was doing his job. Here's the crazy thing. Here's I'm sure Josh could agree with this, is that the 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 motive, if you guys look at this too in the same way, is is always to divide people, black on white. This was a white crime on a black dude. Reality is just bad people attack again, I don't know the full story, right? But how he gets paying the media is black on white crime or white on black crime, right? You see what I'm saying? It's always the divide. It's never like, why don't we look out for us as humans? Mm -hmm. Like you say earlier, like us, like black people need to look out for, I'm talking just humans in general, we gotta look out for each other. Like we're denigrating humans all together. Like you got homeless people out there, people not taking care of just people, dude. Well, you know, some of them, some some whites don't even look at blacks as being human. No, I agree. You know, when they wrote, uh, when I'm getting a little bit off the, the Constitution and, and, and all this other, you know, blacks weren't included in that. You yeah. Know? yeah. So, but, uh, and that's another reason why I see all those guys that's in the House and in the Senate that's in their 80s and 90 years old, they need to get out of there. Yeah. They're back in them days, they back in there for them days out there, you know, and I'm not going to. You know what days? You know, them yeah. days they call them grown men boy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> And that's some of the worst thing you can call, you know, a person of color is boy. Because he was calling that so much, you know, then. Especially somebody white to call him that, you know. The, the, the thing but, is, I think the, the important thing for us, like, going, there's always going to be, like, animosity towards the stuff, dude. And, like, hatred towards, like, the, the past and stuff like that. It's like the important call, thing. Don't call him the past, brother. No. It's still yeah, the present, the present yeah. rolls in. But they got sundown so, towns here in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think we should go burn them to the ground, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, and I, and I hear you on that. And you know, they'll be waiting to do that for us to do that because then, then the army and the military, all that, get sent out to us. But they won't. They weren't sent for January six. But that's on another note. But let me say this: Do, we, say do we fight violence with violence? Do we fight evil with evil? Yes. 
Is that really the way I go about doing this? Yeah, I'm scared. I feel like it is. Hey, they didn't call it. Listen, man, if we attack their towns, they would call it military out, right? A lot of these lakes, right, they sit on towns. A lot of these towns that were slotted out were all black towns. They didn't call it military out when they was killing our people like that. Yeah. So that's how yeah. you gotta look at it. You either look at this, you fight or be exterminated. Yeah. And my children are about to be touched. Wow. And you look at this, I made a little short video on this right here saying, you have, uh, yeah, you can tighten that thing up. There we go. You have uh, uh, kids, toddlers, white and black, playing together. Yeah. Now, oh, where, does oh, yeah. where does it where change? Where does it change? Where do they start to see the color at? Whether in one one lady I when I made a short video shot on that she said society changed them. But here they are, they they play together white and black, they don't see nothing. That's my best friend that look back, you know, they talk, they come up. Now all of a sudden it's changing. It's changing. Here, here's, my, here's my I, I spoke to Paul about this too. Here here's my take on that. That was like the, the school thing I talked to you about. It was like growing up, you know, you, you go to school, right? Like you don't you're you're cool with whoever, right? You you mm -hmm. mess with it, dude, you, you don't even care, dude. I remember for me personally, again, dude, I think it's it's a bunch of different, it could be parents telling them, it could be, for me, it was like the school I realized that like we were in history class and they, I remember they taught and it was like really weird and it, like I felt awkward about it. They were like, yeah, like they used to have slavery here. Like they just taught about it. And like it was the first time I heard about it. I was like, I was like, and I looked at my friend, I was like, why? Like I felt weird about it. I was like, really? And then it was like, it just seemed strange. And like it's saying, it creates like this like polarity in your mind. Yeah. like. That's how it once was. And like, we're supposed to be enemies against each other in a sense mm -hmm. like that. And I'm like, that's crazy. But I remember for me, it was school where I first learned about it. And I just felt like weird about it because I was like, that's nuts, man. Man, I remember learning about it too, bro. Yeah. Yeah. In history class, we had a white teacher. And yeah. she gave us, she was telling about this. What the fuck? Yeah. Then she brought the movie Rosewood and shit. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Honestly, honestly, uh, yeah. What's that fucking movie? I think it was a Time to Kill with Samuel oh, L. Jackson. Oh yeah, man. I, I, asked, I asked her one day, I'm like, what's, was your, what's your motives? Yeah. With showing us these movies, because yeah. you really about to call a riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was tough. Yeah. That, that was most of those movies or something, you know, in, in true stories, you know. Green like, Mile? Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. So it's pretty it's wild. Good, and it's and it's sad because the stuff still be happening. Black people still be getting lynched, man. Yeah. And really, I feel like I feel like exactly what you were saying, man. The children necessarily don't have to be taught this at home, but America is bathed in that type of culture mm -hmm. as to where it's white privilege so heavy that even if you don't teach your white child that, they gonna still have that white privilege that's gonna yeah. push it in their mind. Right, and you know, it, it even. Uh, I don't know what year, maybe a couple years ago, it was happening in the uh, the uh, in the NFL when one mm -hmm. of the owners said, you know, you can't yeah. let the uh, the field hands take over or something like that, you know. And I think Jerry Jones said something to uh, some of that effect. And then when Colin Kaepernick was kneeling or something, I I, I don't have my notes because I wasn't prepared for that. But then I believe it was Mike Dick that said, well, why don't they go back where they come from? But even but so. When it comes to sports, I don't think that people look at it the right way. All those people are leased their property. Yeah. They're slaves. Contracted. You know what I'm saying? Contracted yeah. to play. You call it contracted. Yeah. Money don't have no value but what you give to it. So even if you get paid yeah. all that money, you still they can't go play basketball with their homies back in their hoods. Their bodies don't belong to them no more. No. So when you're looking at that stuff, you have to look at it for what it is. And a lot of people are blind to this. Them people was slaves, bro. Just like back in the days when they had them slaves on the auction block, they do the same thing yeah. with the NFL draft. Yeah. They get them up there naked, wham, all that yeah. publicly. Yeah, it's the same yeah. thing. That's crazy, Cap though. Was it talking is, though. about that. I believe Colin Kaepernick was talking about that also. How you know we don't well, see that behind the scenes right. like that. What they doing to him? You don't even need to see behind the scenes if you looking at it straight forward, dude. Yeah, look at it straight forward and look at it for what it is. People look at it for entertainment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's the same thing when they had picnics, man. Yeah. People don't even know where picnics come from. You know where picnics come from? The word picnic? Is you lay out the tarp, cheese and crackers? <laughs> yeah, but you know why they did it? Do you know uh, what picnic short for? You know what, you know you know what picnic short for? Picnic short for pick a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> on Sundays when they used to go to the auction, yeah. by the pick, that's how a picnic. Yeah, yeah I heard pick that. Pick a nigga. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's the same thing with Black Friday. That yeah. was the biggest deal yeah. yeah. when they had the blacks all out there and stuff like that on the that's market. That's crazy. So, you know, that's just a lot of stuff that's out there. That's crazy. Know. It's out there, man. What? It's out there. So, once again, everybody, we got a commercial break. Oh, commercial I was ready to hit We got to yeah, yeah, hold, hold, put a pin in there for you. Hello, everyone. Once again, this is Paul Wizzo. Welcome you all out to Wizzo Talk. We just got some random conversation going on. Remember, it's free to like, free to share, and free to subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm going to take that pin out and let Mr. Slice Nice get back what he had on. What you got going on? My question is, and I've asked this Paul prior. Know you got to hold that mic like that. <laughs> you got to hold that mic. Well, go ahead, though. Go ahead. You just, you just kind of... Fuck me up with that. He made love to the mic. He didn't give me a stand, so I told you I'll hit you down. Yeah, my stand, bro. But go ahead. All right. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Slice Nice. What you got? I'll talk, talk, <laughs> talk to Paul about this. Okay, like, just me as, like, a dude. Like, dude, I hate to complain about the proms, right, of, like, this is going on this that yeah there's the problems right like you guys talked about sundowns i didn't even again i'm not even aware of some of the stuff going on yeah that was the truth you know what i mean i'm like so like my mind's like like well how do we fix it or what can i do to fix this right like i hate just hearing this crap dude and just being like yeah we have all this going on and it's just it just seems stupid to me dude like I, it's it's ridiculous you know, it's like, like, cause dude, I want an equal opportunity for everybody coming out. Like, dude, that's as a human, like I said, for the human race, for mankind, for everybody, we're humans, dude, we're all in this together. That's the crazy part. We're on this earth together, yeah. rotating in space, but we're divided amongst each other with same blood and organs, all this other stuff. It, it's ridiculous to me, man. Yeah, it, I don't think it's, it, it can be fixed or will be fixed out in my lifetime. And I think, and I'm not sure I hadn't really done the research on it enough, but I think America is probably one of the most racial prejudiced mm -hmm. uh, people that sees uh, uh, that sees the most color. You know, you can probably be over in Dubai or wherever, somewhere over there. And, Don't care. And it's not like that. But Don't here care. in America, and it's like that. And we all play together as kids coming up black and white. But then up in there's change. You got this one group over here. Yeah. And, and you know, but we're not, we're not gonna get on all that. I think it's I think it's be because you know, case. there's just too many opportunities to pick a side. BLM, yeah, uh, Proud Boys, like a white group, right, or whatever black else. Black Lives like, Matter not even ran by no black people, man. So I don't even know why black people are supporting any of that shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. It's not really, it wasn't even started by no black. I thought people. it was by two uh, black women. No, no, they just the face of it, but they didn't start it. Mm. And anytime they want to make anything move, they put black women in there. Because black people are out of power. Think about this, man. Who was the first person who wore Make America Great Again? I don't even know. This black girl who was working at Home Depot. She had the hat yeah, on. Really? Mm. <clears throat> and now he didn't got it. Uh, and of course, now, like that. and people say, well, how do you, how do you make it? America great again? When was America great again? America was great before them people came over with that bullshit. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Back when, well, back when I, back when the so-called black people knew that they was the indigenous Americans and we had yeah. our tribes and we knew that this gang shit wasn't what we thought it was, but it was actually the tribes. That's why all these gangs got dances. They're tribal dances. Mm. People don't think in layers, but they only think in linear what they've been told. Told. It's just like school books. School books are replaced every six years. Why? So they don't have access to that old information so they can control mm. what your children are thinking yeah. and what you are thinking. The information that these children are receiving now is not the same information that we were receiving back in the day. And there's a reason for that. The same reason why we talk about why they took them shop classes and all them classes out. Because yeah. that promotes a certain type of thinking. And when you think a certain type of way, you can't just be told any old thing. You feel me? You, sure you don't think outside the box. I think it. All righty. Well, we're going to get ready to get ready to close it out. So I'm going to go around the room right quick. And uh, we're going to see what everybody like to close it out with. And I'm going to come over here to Mr. Slice and Dice. First, Mr. Slice and Dice, what you got for us, man? Dude, I'm take, gonna, us, take us on out with what you got. My mind is just melted, man. Oh. Um, I don't know, dude. There's a lot going on, man. Black going on? There's just a lot going on, but you know, as always, man, it's it's a pleasure being on here, dude. I don't know, I don't know how to what it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was fun, man. Always is fun. Um okay. and um yeah, hopefully the 
viewers put some comments in. We want to hear yeah, back from yeah. you guys. Hopefully, hopefully this was a fun one for sure. Yeah, so a lot of different back. topics. All right. All right. We're, We're going to come, come on yeah. over here to the Samurai. What we got, man, I just want to say to the people, man, it's, it's, it's at a time right now we are a precipice where people really need to stop thinking linear, start thinking more quantum. It's, life is la- is layered. Nothing is what you really perceive it to be on a simplistic level. It's very complicated, and people need to see these things so we, therefore, can start to do stuff and move for the uh, generations to come. And not just thinking about our generation and thinking about money. Because money can become worthless. And then that point, we need to really truly leave our children a better planet and money. You know what I'm saying? Not money, right. just a better world, you know? Yeah. All right. Well said, well said. Guys, uh, we've covered uh, talking about uh, these old heads running Congress and all that stuff. So hopefully i like to see some of that change and get some of them cats out of there, get some young, get some fresh new bloods up in there. Mm. And then the people that's reporting about the, all of the donations going all around the world. Uh, you know, watch who you get your money to, my man. Say, you know, take care of yourself first, and maybe your neighbor, or whatever. But uh, you know, cause there's so much money going out, but only one party report against this, but not report against that. So, and you know, we covered the UFOs and trying to see, you know, do you believe? Do you not believe? Some of you out there don't. You got to think outside the box, cause you listen to Josh and he bring up some pretty good points on some things and shit. Kind of make you go, well. It's possible, just like he talked to you about the world being flat around or whatever. Then he put it a different Mountain way. He was like, well, front line, so you know, you, you <laughs> gotta be open to it. So, and then to talk about the marijuana, you know, I don't smoke or whatever, but a lot of you guys out there to do, if you want to change it, you gonna have to. Only way you gonna change that is you gonna have to go vote. Meanwhile, they're gonna keep locking our ass up for it, some little old small amount, and they're gonna give you a whole lot of time behind such a small amount of marijuana. And then I had in my notes uh, somewhere out where it was. Uh, States have generated over 15 billion in marijuana tax revenue since 2014 mm-hmm. to 2022. 15 billion. Texas ain't getting none of that because we still ran by a bunch of old motherfuckers. Excuse me, I said I wasn't gonna say that. And then uh, I dropped that bomb again. My bad. But so you know, in other words, go out there and change that and vote. As always, I am Paul Wizzo. I thank you for watching. I thank my guests for coming on the show. Remember, it's free to like, it's free to share, and it's free to subscribe. I mean, if I get a little bit of money out of this shit, so what the hell? We all shit. winning now, baby. We all winning now. Everybody got to eat, man. Anyway, I am Paul Wizzo. <laughs> Holla at your boy.